leading one of the largest colleges in the country. Padron recently invited us into his home where he sat down with our Melville Rodriguez to reflect on the legacy that he has created. Miami Dade is so ingrained in myself. It's part of my fabric. It's, uh, it's uh, the place that I love so much. It's, it's my home. But after nearly 50 years of doing what he loves, Miami Dade College President Dr. Eduardo Padron is stepping down. Every chapter has a beginning and has an end. And my chapter has been longer than most chapters that I'm aware of. So I think the moment was right. The college is in a very good position. And I think it's time for a, another person to come in and continue the work that we started. And it's a job he started in 1970 when he joined the college as a professor, rose the ranks, and in 1995 was named president. But Dr. Padron's journey began in 1961 when he fled Cuba with his younger brother at 16 in search of freedom and a better life. I used all my savings from three and four jobs that I had because I came without my parents. I had no money, nothing. So I was uh, sleeping three hours a day and working all kind of odd jobs uh, and going to school. He attended Miami-Dade College, which was then Dade County Junior College, and later earned his PhD from the University of Florida. To be able to go to college, to get a PhD, uh, in economics and to be able to have the opportunity to lead uh, one of the best colleges in the nation. Uh, that's only in America. Dr. Eduardo J. Padron. He was even honored by President Obama with the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the highest civilian honor. That moment when the president was behind me putting the medal, I, um, I thought of my father and my mother, and I said, I know they're smiling, they're looking down on me. A memorable moment for this icon of education who has managed to take Miami-Dade College to another level. Under his leadership, MDC has been recognized as one of the best colleges in the country and graduated more minorities than any other institution. You can move your tassel to the left, signifying that you have and what I've tried to do all my life is to open the door of opportunity very wide to all kind of people that never thought they would have the opportunity to get a college education. That's very rewarding, and I feel that that's a great legacy to leave behind. So on behalf of all of us, MDC graduates, thank you so much for letting us live out our dream and well, receive a we, great education. We are MDC, and we all need to celebrate that. Thank you. Maribel Rodriguez, CBS 4 News. Very nice indeed. After a nationwide search, Dr. Padron's successor will be announced on Wednesday. And although he is retiring, Dr. Padron says there is still much work to do. He looks forward to continue serving the college and the community.